Uh, we are ready for the next talk. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, the next talk came uh, uh, is by uh, a, a wonderful lady by the name of Gosia Waring. Am I pronouncing that right? Gosia Waring. Gosia Waring. Uh, she's from Poland uh, and came from Berlin today. She runs a design studio called Amber Design up there. She has a background in visual communications and language, and she's helping refugees uh, in the way of build, uh, making books with little design uh, uh, pictures in it so that they can communicate more easily with each other and with uh, the people who are helping them. Um, please give a very, very warm welcome. Gosia Waring. Thank you. It's, is it loud enough? Yeah? I have to, to speak very loud. Uh, so thank you very much for, for the invitation. It's a great honor to speak at the campus party. And have th thank you, everybody, for being here. My name is uh, Gosia Waring, I'm, and I'm a designer. I'm a fi founder of the design agency Ember Design and the publishing house Ember Press, and also author of the Icon Picture Dictionary. I also started uh, the charity project Icon for Refugees. I initiated this, um, and it started in October 2015. Icon is a dictionary without words. I published the first edition for travelers in 2007. It was... Um, this was the, the first uh, edition Icon Magenta with Magenta Sewn Binding. And since then, it has been joined by several other editions, um, Icon Croco, Camouflage, and the bigger one, Icon Plus, with um, up to 2,800 symbols. And uh, also Communicator, the green one, and uh, the digital, digital editions for the iOS uh, and also for, for BlackBerry. And 250,000 copies were sold worldwide until now. So the idea behind Icon is quite simple. Imagine your loss for words being in a foreign country, unable to communicate in any language you know. With Icon, it's quite simple to point to the right symbol, pictogram, or photo to make yourself understood. The passport-shaped mini booklet um, divides everyday essential symbols into, into 12 categories, from clothing, hygiene, um, leisure activities, to administration or accommodation, and it includes um, 400 color photos. So regardless of whether you need a toothbrush or a safety pin or swimming trunks or want to explain your allergy without using words, I couldn't speak the most universal language in the world, pictures. People are traveling the world with, uh, with I couldn't. Uh, for example, by motorcycle, um, from Germany to New Zealand. And now a short quote because I really like this story. During the 60,000 kilometers from Germany to New Zealand, Icon Magenta was the only book allowed to accompany us the entire time. Everything else was exchanged for new reading material immediately after we'd finished it, be it in Eastern Turkey, Iran, Kazakhstan, Japan, or Indonesia, where you do almost anything for new books. But when two of you are sitting on a motorbike for two years, imagine two years sitting on a motorbike or camping beside it, luggage has to be limited to the absolute minimum. Thank you, Aikun, you're welcome, for being so small and helping us get a pair of scales in Albania in exchange of a new motorbike um, suspension and translating a weather report for us in Mongolia thus saving us from camping in temperatures of minus 10 degrees after a tour through snow and sandstorms instead ensuring we chose two nights in a yurt heated by a sheep dung oven. This sheep. Um, Ina and Chris from that away. Icon is a kind of initial communication aid when you are lost in translation, so to speak. Um, the book is also used 
by those who have suffered strokes or by the illiterate, by people with aphasia or by the deaf um, to improve communication problems arising from their disabilities. The other group of people are the refugees. The number of refugees arriving in Germany last year uh, reached its peak in summer and autumn uh, 2015. After a TV report on Icon was broadcast those months, we received a wave of requests for free books um, to use in the work with refugees. The um, German Red Cross was particularly interested in our book for, um, to be used for medical assistance. The problem was that there weren't enough interpreters and uh, those who were there didn't speak the languages required, for example, Farsi or Urdu or Arabic. Um, dealing with uh, dictionaries was too time consuming and also the helpers, um, um, they, um, um, they were often dealing with uh, those who could not read or not write. So my small publishing house, Ember Press, uh, donated over 2,000 uh, books um, uh, for free, free of charge, to refugees and, and aid organizations. And we started to think about a special book edition um, which would be adapted to, to their needs and also much cheaper and production. So no more magenta zoom binding anymore on no glossy paper and stuff like this. Um, to provide a quick aid and support, we created a leaflet with over 300 most important uh, symbols which were chosen uh, together with the German Red Cross. Um, the leaflet is based on the Creative Commons license, <laughs> CC by ND, um, and it's ready to, to download and uh, to, to copy. CC by ND means that you can't um, change the layout. You can't make um, uh, you can't make postcards, for example, from it. But um, it's without copyright. The need for a quick and uncomplicated uh, help was really high, and um, the leaflet quickly started to circulate around the Europe. Uh, not only in Germany, also in Belgium and in, um, in Austria, also in the Netherlands. We had some uh, dedicated volunteers helped um, to promote our project. For example, Hannah van den Bosch, she's here uh, today. Uh, she was promoting the whole idea in, in Harlem um, and in the whole Netherlands. And we took the decision to create a new book designed specifically to the needs for the refugees and their helpers. We didn't want to wait until the politicians eventually made the right decisions. You know how long this can take. And finally decided to, um, to finance uh, the uh, production costs of our books uh, via crowdfunding. A short definition of crowdfunding. The practice of funding a project or venture by raising money from a large number of people who each contribute a relatively small amount, typically via the internet. Musicians, filmmakers, and artists have successfully raised funds and forces awareness through crowdfunding. We decided to use the German platform startnext.com for our idea as their uh, focus is on cultural projects. In only three weeks, we um, had the text and the whole concept and, um, and small video ready to start the campaign. And on um, October 19th, the campaign went live for 30 days. And our aim was to get 10,000 euros uh, for 10,000 books to donate them free of charge to uh, refugees and aid organizations. And this is our team. We are a very small team of three women, all with children, investing all their time in this, um, in this project. 
To ensure it got, got, got off the ground in a very short space of time, Katja Kozalin, Monika Pfau, and, uh, and me, we visited refugee camps several times, different refugee camps in, in Berlin, talked to helpers and refugees, and got uh, finally a clear picture which um, symbols were urgently needed. We also wanted to create an Android app um, using the funds raised via crowdfunding. This app could be used by the refugees and the helpers um, also working on the so-called Balkan route. The original uh, Icon book app had only been designed for um, iPhones and the most of the refugees use um, Android smartphones. So it was really, um, really important for us to, to make it. And now the crowdfunding video. I hope it will work. No, <laughs> this is the next page. This is the video. It takes time, it, it works um, well. Maybe you have, maybe we have to wait. I don't know. So sorry, I double checked everything, and it's uh, yeah. But um, I would like to have some sound, <laughs> please. Weniger sprechen Englisch, die meisten nur ihre Heimatsprache. Andere wiederum können weder lesen noch schreiben. Alkun ist ein Bildwörterbuch für alle Sprachen dieser Welt. Es passt in jede Hosentasche und beinhaltet 2000 Symbole, Piktogramme und Fotos. Durch einen einfachen Fingerzeig kann man sich sehr schnell verständlich machen, ob man eine Sicherheitsnadel braucht, Heuschnupfen kommunizieren möchte oder aber nach einem Supermarkt sucht. Mein Name ist Abdel, ich komme aus Syrien, ich bin Kinderarzt vom Beruf. Seit zehn Monaten bin ich in Deutschland. Die Kommunikation am Anfang war sehr schwer, weil ich die Sprache nicht kannte. Ich bin Goshen und bin Autorin und Designerin von Icon. Ich bin Katja und arbeite seit vielen Jahren als Designerin bei Ember Press. Ich bin Monika und helfe Katja und Goscha bei der Kommunikation. In der letzten Zeit bekommen wir täglich viele Anfragen von Hilfsorganisationen, die in ihrer Kommunikationsnot Icon kostenfrei an Flüchtlinge verteilen wollen. Als erste und schnelle Maßnahme haben wir ein Flugblatt erstellt, das auf Basis einer Creative Commons Lizenz für humanitäre Zwecke ja, benutzt. Das ist the, the sound in, in, in the picture. Europa erlebt zurzeit die größte Flüchtlingsbewegung seit dem Zweiten Weltkrieg. Die Menschen kommen aus unterschiedlichsten Teilen der Welt. Ihre Sprachkenntnisse sind begrenzt. Wenige sprechen Englisch, die meisten nur ihre Heimatsprache. Andere wiederum können weder lesen noch schreiben. Icon ist ein Bildwörterbuch für alle Sprachen dieser Welt. Es passt in jede Hosentasche und beinhaltet 2000 Symbole, Piktogramme und Fotos. Durch einen einfachen Fingerzeig kann man sich sehr schnell verständlich machen, ob man eine Sicherheitsnadel braucht, Heuschnupfen kommunizieren möchte oder aber nach einem Supermarkt sucht. Mein Name ist Abdel, ich komme aus Syrien, ich bin Kinderarzt vom Beruf. Seit zehn Monaten bin ich in Deutschland. Die Kommunikation am Anfang war sehr schwer, weil ich die Sprache nicht kannte. Ich bin Goshen und bin Autorin und Designerin von Icon. Ich bin Katja und arbeite seit vielen Jahren als Designerin bei Ember Press. Ich bin Monika und helfe Katja und Goscha bei der Kommunikation. In der letzten Zeit bekommt Okay, the, 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 almost the whole video was, uh, I can just describe everything, so it's, it's okay. 
Europa erlebt zurzeit die größte Flüchtlingsbewegung seit dem Zweiten Weltkrieg. Die Menschen kommen aus unterschiedlichsten Teilen der Welt. Sorry. Ihre Sprachkenntnisse sind weg. Gut. Noch schreiben. Ja, I need the, the page, this page. Sorry, I, I don't want to bother you with uh, four times the same video. Um, one of the biggest challenges we had to work on were the new symbols, um, which had to be specifically designed for the very individual situation of the refugees. For this purpose, we attended several, several workshops with the German Red Cross and also with the Center for International Peace Operations and some dedicated volunteers who gave us very important and specific input. And over 100 symbols were designed in a very um, short, uh, I mean, yeah, just in a few weeks concerning medical issues as uh, scabies or polio or very important tuberculosis. Um, every refugee arriving in Germany has to be x-rayed for tuberculosis. So um, a specific symbol for this uh, procedure was needed. Other symbols followed. Trauma, rape, democracy, equality, freedom of opinion, several de-escalation symbols or symbols for not using electricity pylons for charging cell phones. This, it sounds very scary, but uh, this is reality on the Balkan route. We also translated 22 very simple questions and answers like where is or where can I buy into English, French, because of Africa, Farsi, Urdu, and Arabic. And uh, these can be combined with the correspondent symbol. For example, where can I buy nuts or I'm allergic to nuts? So two completely different things. As this project was uh, set up very quickly with the limited women power, we were reliant um, for on support from corporation partners not only to help us to distribute the book, but also um, to, um, to support us with the publicizing of the crowdfunding campaign. For example, the Paritätische Wolfahrtsverband, a charity umbrella organization with over 10,000 members and Germany's largest association lobbying for the poor and vulnerable in German society, printed 50,000 of our first communication um, eight leaflets, and um, uh, which was reproduced in, in the association members magazine during the crowdfunding campaign. Also, the German Red Cross and um, the Goethe Institute supported us financially and helped us with all the logistics regarding the book um, and the book's distribution. We attended several workshops um, and um, events, including gallery openings, for example, at the Bernheimer Contemporary twice, or foundation symposiums and talks on cultural refugee project to promote our idea and to, um, to explain our project. And um, ultimately, we raised 23,023 euros instead of the originally planned 10,000 in just 30 days which we used to publish the book and to create the app. And this is the book, and I have um, plenty of them with me, so you can see them after the presentation. With the support of our printing company, the first print run of 30,000 books and was ready on uh, December 10th, 2015. Almost all the books were shipped for free, primarily to accommodation for refugees in Germany in time for Christmas 2015. And I, that was our office, and I think the shipping companies and all the postmen and women, they hate us since this project. 
Um, the Android app went also online and is available for free in the Google Play Store. The support for the crowdfunding campaign was so overwhelming that people um, continued to support our project even after the funding goal had been reached. As a result, we create an easy way to support our project even after the crowdfunding with a simple 20 euro for 20 books option in our um, via our online shop. And after six weeks, we were able to print another 20 thousand copies which are also almost all gone now and the third um, the third edition is planned is being planned for June and July this year as learning via images is also an excellent teaching strategy we created a um, poster a German learning poster with 180 symbols and the corresponding German words these posters can be downloaded free via our website, icoonforrefugees.com. In addition to the poster, we have created the complete signposting system for a large emergency accommodation for refugees at the Cologne Airport. Um, designing signs, for example, for the changing rooms, but also for the whole um, facil facility with posters with, um, with, this, with the corresponding signs. At the beginning of this year, we um, created new symbols for the Center for International Peace Operations. They use a book guide for their peace workers containing instructions for international peace missions. And our symbols help to illustrate various sometimes very dangerous situations um, helping them to be able to communicate via images. Right now we are focusing on a project for children cooperating with the German Konrad Adenauer Foundation. We are creating a welcome poster to be used in schools with symbols for things, plants, animals or foods which um, the children already know from their home countries. And the aim is to build a bridge to the familiar surroundings that children know and the new place they are living in now by recognizing things. They will eventually understand that the new world they live now is not that strange as they might think. And the poster will be developed into a drawing book which also will help the children learn German. Eventually, I can, uh, I can imagine that we will create um, another communication tools or learning posters for other countries and languages. Last week, we um, built a shopping window for Hugendubel. Hugendubel is a German book store chain. I don't know, um, have you ever been to Berlin Kreuzberg? This is... Uh, this is area, uh, an area in, in the middle of Berlin with a huge uh, migration problem since, um, since years. So I'm really, really happy to be with, um, with my symbols um, in, in this shopping window because of um, understanding. Because understanding and langu language, this is the first step um, to integration and also to, to peace. And I truly believe that design can make a difference. And this project um, proved that design can make a difference. And thank you very much for listening. Dankeschön. And I wish you a lot of energy and fun uh, building, designing the, the new world. Thank you very much. Hello, hello. Hi. Thank you so much, Gossi Amarin, for your very inspiring, beautiful uh, talk and, of course, for your bravery in helping the less fortunate in the world. Thank you. Thank you very much. We're going to continue.